this video covers power and only power. You know, the relays and buttons, that, that's going to be in a future video. So we're going to talk about reactors and how to hook them up with power, uh, why we use junction boxes, preventing uh, junction box failure, i.e. fire or breaking them, bypassing junction box, does this work? What about this? Um, uh, a full buffer using batteries, a partial buffer using batteries where, you know, hopefully we can use the batteries as a as a backup system and then a uh, completely separate system um, using relays and switches. So let's start. <clears throat> Gonna be this dude. Let's grab a wire and our screwdriver. And I'm going to press E over here, and then we're going to connect this into here. So now that's fully connected. We're going to turn on the reactor. And uh, let me explain this. You can have a maximum of five coming into this power. So if you need a six, just make another ejection box. Each light will draw 1,000 kilowatts of power. And then when I, when I flip this, when I pull this lever, the light turns on. So our power output is at zero. Let's turn one on. Now it'll be at 1,000. Turn another one on. Now it'll be at 2,000. Turn another one on. And, and uh, what happens here whenever you, you turn it on? Or like, when does this actually happen when you're playing a game? Well, maybe you have your engines turning on and off. Or not, not on and off, but you have your engines going forward and then stop, and then forward and then stop. And that's what I'm simulating here. And as you can see, this this load is all over the place. Maybe somebody turned on a fabricator while you're, or you're running, and uh, someone's shooting a bunch of coil guns, and eventually your junction box gets fried and nothing works anymore. So why do we even need a junction box? That's on, and that does nothing to the light. That does nothing to the light. Um, what about this setup? Well, this battery is, recharge rate is at zero. When we turn on the light, nothing happens because there's no charge in the battery. So let's turn on the, the battery at 100% over here, or 100% recharge rate, which is about 500 kilowatts of energy. So there's 500 going through this junction box and into this battery. And then we're gonna turn on our 1000 kilowatt lights. Uh, the lights take in between 0 0.5 to 1,000 kilowatts. So really, this is 500 from here getting split into three. And that top one also won't work. Now, can we just bypass the junction? Spoiler alert, this will not work. This also will not work because the junction needs to be connected to this um, power. Let's prove it just in case um, you guys want some proof. Nothing battery doesn't even charge all right now uh, the goal is to prevent burnout from these and uh, prevent the the reactor from going all over the place by creating this battery buffer so uh, the bottom two are 100% uh, this one's 100% this one's at 50% or at 0% and these are both at 25% and this these batteries are at zero and the lights are on. So this one's getting 1,000 watts, this one is getting uh, 500, and then this one is getting uh, 1,000 kilowatts, but it's about to die very soon. And the, the reactor is still at zero. So how do we actually start drawing power from the reactor? Let's start turning these on to 100 and start recharging these batteries one by one. And now we should be pulling power from the reactor and now our load is at 4,000 and let's say you're a captain of the ship and you know all, all of your crew is firing stuff and you're moving around and you're, you're doing a lot of things um, and you're demanding a lot from from power nothing happens your load is at still at 4,000 because you have this full battery buffer uh, between you and the rest of your of your systems one downside is your engine, if you have those big engines, takes up 4,000 kilowatts, which means you need eight batteries to, to power that. 
Um, what I've seen online is something like this, where you have a junction box and then two batteries. Um, and the hope here is when I turn this on, it should be grabbing power from these batteries. The, the recharge rate is at 0%. So the battery is getting depleted, which is good because that, that's turned on, but also the load is 1000. Um, but these recharge rate is, the recharge rate is zero. So let's turn on the recharge rate. And now the load is at 2000. This is odd to me because this battery is draining. This light only takes up 1000, but we're, we have 2000 watts, kilowatts of load. Um, I don't know if that's a bug or not. So uh, let's go to this. Maybe this will fix it. Spoiler alert. Uh, it won't. Having a junction box over there will not fix it. Uh, there's this other scheme over here where I have a, a switch and a relay. So let's turn on this uh, recharge rate. Nothing happens because I have to flip that switch or pull the lever. And now my draw will be 500. This thing is going to start charging. Let's turn that back on. Or let's turn this on as well. And now let's turn on the light. So that's great. You know, I'm now controlling the amount of power going through here. And then if I wanted to, I can turn this off and turn that on up there. And my load should have just dropped a little bit. So I didn't cause too much harm on the junction boxes. Uh, but the batteries are still being depleted because we need another relay um, in between. Let's turn that on. So here's a, another scheme for it where let's let this thing recharge. So we should be hitting it with a thousand kilowatts. While this thing is recharging, let's turn on the, the lights. So the, the charge rate should be still, which is good, which is what is, is, what is, is expected. And then let's say, um, we want to switch over to engine power. What we'll have to do is turn this off, turn that on, and turn that off. And now our uh, output is still 1,000. And we are grabbing 1,000 from this. So all the power is getting routed through here. Um, but notice how I had to do a lot of things to keep this uh, load steady. You know, I had to turn on multiple things. Like, let's do that again in, in reverse. So here, here. And then here, and now the light is on and we're grabbing from the battery and we just flickered a little bit. Now, what if we mess up and we turn both these things on because we want to charge the battery and um, turn on that light? Well, our load is now at 2000, uh, which is fine, but we also um, uh, spike this junction box. And that's it.